Hello and welcome to yet another episode of the Euromain Movie Report. The show where I talk about a movie I have recently watched at my local movie theatre. This week, London Has Fallen. London Has Fallen is of course the sequel to the 2013 action extravaganza Olympus Has Fallen, where we had President Aaron Eckhart together with the King of Sparta, Jared Butler, beating back North Korean terrorists after they had attacked and occupied the White House. And London Has Fallen takes place a couple of years after the events of Olympus Has Fallen. Aaron Eckhart is still president and now Jared Butler is a close friend of the president and part of his Secret Service detail. And the story of uh, the movie is as follows. President Aaron Eckhart is in the Oval Office and gets a call that the British Prime Minister has died suddenly. And then a state funeral has been hastily planned and of course the American president is going to attend. And um, President Aaron Eckhart, Angela Bassett, who is Chief of Secret Service, if I remember correctly, and of course Jared Butler and a couple of uh, yeah, uh, non-speaking uh, Secret Service stand-ins, they uh, go to the UK and to attend the funeral. However, something is afoot behind the scenes. In the beginning of the film, we had this uh, Pakistani arms dealer, a very Dr. Evil-esque type of guy, who has his compound in northern Pakistan, destroyed by a US drone strike because he is a bad guy selling weapons to terrorists and he's planning his revenge. So he um, has put together this terrorist attack in uh, London and he wants to kill President Aaron Eckhart and a, lo a lot of uh, other world leaders. And the whole film is like the same die-hard-esque formula that we saw in Olympus Has Fallen that um, President Aaron Eckhart and the King of Sparta, Jared Butler, now as a Secret Service agent, have to uh, band together to fight these evil terrorists. The movie is not Oscar material, but it's a fun ride with sadly bad CGI, but great one-liners and, yeah, uh, a entertaining popcorn flick. So, um, what else is, is there to say about it? It has this um, semi-Harrison Ford, Air Force One-esque uh, feel about it, but uh, it doesn't quite match uh, Air Force One from 1997. However, the acting um, Jared Butler, he st still speaks, speaks with this heavy Scottish accent, but he's an okay action actor, and um, Aaron Eckhart, yeah, he is quite good as the American president. And the guy who plays the lead terrorist, he does an okay job as well, and so does the other stand-ins. Uh, and uh, the, the guys who were, were supposed to be this uh, SAS uh, Special Forces team, they did an okay job as well. And the, the movie, is, of course, is filled with boom, big explosions and... Jared Butler going <laughs> and so on and so on and you in some scenes all that was missing was someone in the background shouting USA USA but anyway to um, rate this film I'll give it yeah why not three out of five coca-cola bottles that's it, your main of your man's movie report signing off. Thanks for watching and don't forget if you like this movie talk slash movie review, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to watch any of my previous reviews slash movie talks, you can click a link in the description. And if you want to subscribe to my videos, there's also a button which allows you to do that. But anyway, I will return next week with another movie review slash movie talk. But until then, have a pleasant weekend and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.